Hey guys, and welcome back to Deadly Duel. So today is Sunday, and we are using Transmata Fairies, also known as Agents. I don't, I don't know. Um, so there's not much to talk about today. I really haven't been doing anything lately. Just been you know, taking a break from midterms, taking a break from Pokemon. Definitely, this hand is terrible. Unless I get a Valhalla. Hopefully, I get a Valhalla, or at least a monster that allows me to summon Valhalla. Because if I don't, then uh, this might be just getting jumped by harpies. No. I'll go off and he gets three different harpy cards. Just choo choo choo. No. And, uh, what's it called? That harpy lady phoenix formation? Not that good. Not that good. No. I, I definitely thought it was going to be better than that. Oh, of course. Harpy dancer. Ah. Uh, no, I guess. I still feel like I'm going get, to be getting my butt kicked, but shit. So I guess I'm just going to normal summon this guy and just try to attack over you. But shit. This hand's just mm 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 mm. -mm. Yeah. On a lot of the cards. Yep, got chained up. Nope, I probably will lose this duel. Got a lot of useless cards in my hand compared to how fast the hard piece can go off. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Here's Dancer. Turn Dancer. I mean, return Chandler with Dancer. And then summon a Dancer. And then dance all over my face. I remember when Harpies were on the lineup. They were like one of the first decks. And now they're not. Hit RP pet phantasmal dragon of attack you directly and there's nothing you can do about it. It's so dumb. Like, oh, really? Like, really? That's what I wonder. What were they thinking when they came up with this card? Because the card is super dumb. Oh, well, there's not much I can do right now besides just take Harpy, you know, this Harpy Mirage in my face. So, you know, if, that, if that's how I end up losing this duel, then I guess that's how we'll end our, you know, existence. I'm gonna go ahead and send that and get a Valhalla. But now this guy is stuck on the field. You know, if he was gone, I could just, you know, Valhalla, summon a Hyperion, you know, pop, pop, start popping. Well, I don't think I, I can't target this card or my card effect. So pretty much I just gotta wait for him to crap himself out and allow him to pretty much attack me for 6,000 damage. Yeah, that's great. Can't target Harpy Lady cards for attacks or. Uh, uh, card effects. So pretty much, I can't get them. In which case, I will probably die. So that's great. Yep, yep, I, yep. I probably lost this duel. Wow, that sucks. I really didn't get to do anything either. Well, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you. I actually got to write an essay about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's gonna be a pretty interesting one. Pretty much, as an argument essay where you argue about uh against the accusation, you pretty much gotta argue against it. Argument, you know, is, uh, is Yu-Gi-Oh a children's card game? <laughs> and, no, it is not. Yu-Gi-Oh is definitely not a children's card game. Oh, right. Let's say, what happened to my little guy? Oh, that's a game. Damn. Damn. This guy opened up great. I opened up like crap. Oh, uh, so of course we're gonna get another duel, so I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Ooh, I feel like, I feel dirty, I feel violated after that duel. There we go. Shit, only, at least one of us won the paper boxes. I don't care. At least one of us win. Alright, so we got Valhalla's, and we got, uh, T, I don't even know how to say that name. Tias or something like that. So hopefully we'll be able to draw into lots of fairies, and be able to just go plus which I'm hoping we'll be able to do. So, of course, opponent sets in back row. That's Yu-Gi-Oh for you. I miss Heavy Storm every day. Every day. I like, Heavy Storm? <laughs> Baby, come back! The hell is that? Oh, okay. So apparently it's a fabled. Hmm. Now we're gonna go ahead and activate this. I have a feeling that some of these cards are bluffs just to, uh, uh, surprise. Okay. Like I said, Valhalla. 
Let's go ahead and summon you. All the answers. Oh my god. That's this episode is going to just be called. Just be like, oh, just, just crap. Just crap. That's the, that's the name of this episode. Crap. Like, this is what's happening. I'm trying to duel, and I'm just getting crapped on. God damn! Every single card that he needs, he gets. See? Not a children's card game, because, you know, a children's card game is fair. This is this is not like fucking old maiden shit. This is some competitive, sacky-ass bullshit. Yu-Gi-Oh! At its finest. You know? <sighs> oh, no, I'm low on resources. Shit. I'm hoping he summons another monster, so I'll at least be able to dark hole him, but shit. It's low now. I don't know. And, uh, I think I accidentally forgot to show you guys my art for, uh, my art class. I said I was going to put it in, and I never edited it in. Uh, for some odd reason, I forgot. Slip my mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, at the end of this episode, because I can't forget, I, I generally I forget to, like, put it in the episode, like, edit it, squeeze it in there. But, um, at the end of the episode, it will be there, you know. I'll put the first drawing and the second drawing, so. So I'm gonna ahead and activate this. I'll actually normal summon him. And then at least I mean I'll, at least it only has one bottomless, but still, you know. This kinda sucked. And it's probably like a deeper than Army Air Force, yep. <sighs> Heavy storm, please come back. God. So annoying. Ugh. I got one, two, three, two. It's one, two, three, four. Just summon another monster, man. Just so I can feel like my dark hole is actually going to be worth something. There we go. So when I dark hole him, he'll only have two cards. Well, I'll still have. I'll have three cards because I drew. So, I'm going to be up on him with the resources, but I'm definitely down on life points, so. Uh, once per turn, you can move and play. Hey, Josh, I think. Okay, that's not that bad. You know? Is it worth the Dark Hole, though? I feel like I should summon him to discard the Dark Hole. Is it discard the Dark Hole or discard Fairy? Once per turn. I have to discard Fairy Time Monster, so. I discard Honest, and I can get back TS, and then I can actually start, you know, bouncing back in this duel, hopefully. So we're gonna try that. So let's go ahead and bring back TS. Who got bottomless because of this guy, so. And if he drops the Gores on me, I will flip a table, because there's no way in hell I can come back. Alright, go ahead, sir. Watch him have the dark hole. <laughs> Just be like, God, no! <laughs> uh. So what does that do you? Discard one fable monster from your... Discard one fable monster to grave, add this card. I'm so... I, I don't know how fables play. It's been such a long time since I've seen them, so I'm really not sure what the hell is going on. I just know there's a lot of discarding, so that's all I know. So, uh, when something actually happens, we'll see. I don't know, but right now, kind of lost. So, uh, good news. Uh, Rogue Legacy is returning uh, tomorrow, yes. There's more Rogue Legacy coming back. I'm coming back to record some more. I apologize. Uh, like I said, I've been busy with Pokemon. I've been busy with school. I left a control at my friend's house. No, lots of excuses, but you know, just... You know how it is. So, what do you do? Tribute? Wow. So you tribute it. Wow. Alright. Well, 28 beer with one tribute. 
That would have been, been nice to draw. Ah, oh, well, it looks like I'm probably just going to summon this and make a pile of domino. So let's go ahead and do that. Pile of domino, here we come. So good. So we're going to get your effect and drop you down to zero. And then when I'm destroyed, I get to draw a pile of domino. So good. Okay, it's, uh, like if I was going to do like a top ten list of the best... Uh, rank 4s in Yu-Gi-Oh, he'd definitely be on there. Like, there's just nothing good. I mean, there's nothing good. I would say there's nothing good about him. There's nothing bad about him. You know? I can drop your attack at zero. I can negate your effect. And when I'm destroyed by you, I can just draw a card. It's just, it's just all good, you know? Like, if you're running a light deck and you don't have Pile of Domino, you better get one quick. Because he's just that good, you know? And now this guy's going on the defensive. This guy... Ran out of back row, and now he's essentially going on the defensive now, so. Uh. Didn't really want to draw that card. It's not that useful right now. Alright, kill him, and pass to you. So pretty much he's just cowering in fear. So he's. Unless he gets some kind of awesome chocolate fudge cover play to defeat me. Uh. He's pretty much just going to be backing down right now. What's this do? Okay, so when you send to the graveyard, that doesn't count as being discarded, so they won't go off, right? Or will they? I don't think so. Alright, well, he's level 6, so he's probably going to use Plex better. Put a card to the top of his deck. Yep, summon it and probably sink for, I don't know. Probably a Crimson Blader, knowing my luck. Knowing my luck, he'll probably go for a Crimson Blader. In which case, I'll be unable to special summon, or normal summon, level 5s or higher next turn, which will probably lead to my loss in this game. You know, that's why this deck is not the best deck of the format, very susceptible to cards like Crimson Blader and Ophion, so. So here comes Crimson Blader. Yep. How did I know? It's like I'm, I'm, like I'm psychic or something. Alright, also Tuesday. I wish I still had Honest. If I had Honest, that would have been so funny. It's the attack Honest. I win, <laughs> but I don't. I, I had to discard it to do a decent play, which ended up just, you know, just not working for me. But, you know, I couldn't have predicted that. So even if I do get a Valhalla, I won't be able to summon this guy. So. Uh, this, du this duel is pretty much going to come down to, uh, uh yep, see. Well, that definitely sucks. So, uh, that might be game. No. There's not much I can do. Even if I lance him, he'll go to 2,000. It's still too strong for me. Uh, can't summon this. If I set this, then he'll kill it, and once again, I won't be able to summon again. Uh, nope. I think he might have this. There's not much I can do. Oh. Uh, discard, discard, graveyard, give Lahala, but then I can't summon. You know, if, I, if he didn't kill my monster Crimson Blader, if it was any other monster besides Crimson Blader, I would have had the duel. I wish I would have had this card set, because, you know, then at least we could have kamikaze but nope. So, uh, essentially, I lost this duel. So, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm just going to set this. And pray. And hope and pray. That he doesn't get another monster. But he probably will. This guy's been having the answers for me all duel, so... Just... Crap. So Tuesday Foz is gonna be here, yes, we're gonna start the Foz series. So every other day you're gonna get episode of Foz, I hope you guys enjoy it. I love Kamen Rider, and I hope you guys just, you know, begin to love Kamen Rider as well. Foz is one of my favorite Kamen Rider series-wise, it is my favorite. Uh, okay, so he attacks with this, he won't kill me. That's, I mean, I'm still dead anyway, so. <sighs> no. no. Alright, so. Comes down to this draw. Can I do anything? At all? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you, Crimson Blighter. I have officially been screwed. Yep. 
can't summon anything, and I lose. Crap. Ooh. Ugh. <sighs> oh, that's game. Crimson Blair. Crimson Blair, ladies and gentlemen. The guy who fucks this deck's life up. Along with Ophion. You know, if Crimson Blair didn't just kill my monster, I've been like removed from play, so I'm in Ophion, pop, pop, bam in your face game. But nope, same thing the other time. You know, that's just two turns of just fuck you, Crimson Blader, fuck me, uh, crap, you know, just crap, shit. Ah, <sighs> can't win this deck, but I'm gonna cut it short, so. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, thank you guys for being understanding while I was being kind of distant and, you know, just playing Pokemon, but I'm going to go on a break on Pokemon, I'm going to try to set it down for a while and, you know, just get back to my roots, uh, focus on school, focus on being a good YouTuber, and stuff like that, so no more of just, you know, uh, me not showing up, well, there'll probably be some, uh, times where I won't be able to make the live anime wise, but mostly it won't be, It'll be for good reasons. Don't be like, oh, I was at school playing Pokemon. Sorry, you know. It'll probably, it, you know, it, it, I'm gonna try to make it on time. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And, uh, you know, just tell me what you guys think of my art. So it's gonna be at the end of the episode. So, um, I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Utopia. I'm not sure if I'm tagging with uh, Tiago, but uh, I'll, I'll talk to him again. All right. So, yeah. See you tomorrow.